Good morning, Dave the Enlightened Plumber here with today's quote. Be strong but not rude. Be kind but not weak. Be humble but not timid. Be proud but not arrogant. Be strong but not rude. Be kind but not weak. Be humble but not timid. Be proud but not arrogant. This is from Zig Ziglar. So these are wise words. Okay. Let's get into it. Be strong, but not rude. Strong is of character. Strong is of mental state. Uh, it's your presence that you're bringing to a situation, to life, to whatever you want to do. And so by being strong, you have all these wonderful characteristics, one of these auras about you, but you're not rude. So you can have strength and you can be, okay, I am here and I'm not necessarily in your face, but you know that I am here. Hey, can you help me? Would you like some help with that? Right? You're not being rude to someone, but you, you have that presence about you. So that's what the being strong is. Be kind, but not weak. This is similar to yesterday's quote. So you can be kind, but you're not a pushover. So, hey, would you like some help with that? Or, yeah, where am I gonna go with this? Okay, there's, there's a few different ways you can be kind, and a lot of this can be your personality too. How you show up and being around, but not weak is not, uh, not being walked on, not having, not going, hey, I've got an idea that might work here and I don't want to offend anybody. And then you can start going the whole other way of, well, okay. And then you just kind of sit back and, and let people walk all over your, your ideas. Oh, no, that's no good. That's whatever. That's not where you're, what you're after. You can have kind words. You can make suggestions to help improve something, a situation. And in doing so, that might still offend some people because it might be not how they see a solution being done but you also are not supposed to be weak in the sense that your ideas aren't even heard. Now, it could be that's fine that your idea is your idea and it's not necessarily the best one that's out there, but it's the idea of, of approaching it with an avenue of kindness to it. And this also falls into the realm of empowering or not empowering uh, what's the term? Enabling other people. That's a f sort of kindness where you're weak in the sense that, okay, well, I'm going to do this out of the kindness of my heart. So I'm going to do your dirty washing. And now if it's okay that you were going to do the washing because you were just being kind, you could see they were struggling, they were hoping that they weren't able to keep up. And all of a sudden you see them sitting on the sofa watching TV and the expectation is that you're just carrying on doing their, their laundry that's also not a good thing. That's considered being weak in this circumstance. So it's trying to watch that flip flop. Being humble, but not timid. All right. I think these are good words. Um, humble, humble. Okay. This is more where you don't have your ego there and you are able to ask questions so similar to where I was just pointing out that you're in a room and you've got to get your point across you might have all these wonderful ideas yourself but you do actually have to have going along with the first one the strength to get the points across and not sit there and not project something it's asking for a question when sort of like the, the news reporters do in a room, right? They're all like screaming and shouting, hey, how am I gonna make myself noticed? But the, the humble part is, it's not you're, you're gonna be too shouty, you wanna be, again, it's, it's sort of a part of this presence internally of how you, how you deem yourself, how you feel about yourself is kind of where the, the humbleness comes in, that you're not all out for the ego or for, look at me, look at me, look at me, but at the same time, You've got to get it where you are actually still being noticed. I apologize. It's a bit of a difficult one for me to explain on that. Be proud, but not arrogant. Again, you can be very happy, be very proud. I, I certainly 
look at some of the things I've done and have been very proud at myself, of what I've accomplished, what I have done, whereas I used to see things with a line of arrogance, nowadays I don't have that. I, I am proud. There's nothing wrong with pride in what you're doing. We're all told that it's pride is one of these horrible sins, and it's not, providing it's in the right place that is coming from the right place of thought. That yes, you can certainly be very happy what you've done, just not so much that it excludes anybody else from also enjoying your company or even the, the aspects of what you've done. And that's sort of where that arrogance comes in. It's like, oh, pff, of course I could do that. It's like, okay, it's fine. You can certainly enjoy what you've done. There's no problem in actually having pride over what you've done. It's, it's when you pride and you kind of close others out because of, well, of course, I'm better than everybody else. <laughs> Forget it. No. Just be, just be happy with what you've done. Anyway, we'll get on with that. Sorry, uh, uh, these, uh, these last few have been really long and I apologize for that, but it's all good information. Be strong, but not rude. Be kind, but not weak. Be humble, but not timid. Be proud, but not arrogant. From Zig Ziglar and myself, Dave the Enlightened Plumber, have yourselves an awesome day. Be strong, kind, humble, and proud today. Take care.